Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we're going to solve this linear inequality and we graph the, we're going to graph the solution and we'll see what I meant by that. So let's take a look to this linear inequality for x plus 7 greater or equals 2x minus 3. I will start by subtracting 2x. And I want to be sure this is not the only method. Uh, I prefer this one because I get a positive quantity of x's, two x's in this case, plus 7 greater or equals negative 3. Then the next step, subtract 7 on both sides, and we have 2x greater or equals negative 10, and divide by 2, we get x greater or equals 5. Okay. And in this moment, uh, we have one way to so show the solution. Another way is to use a number line, and here in the middle, I'm going to put the 5, in fact, it should be negative 5, negative 5, and then I'm going to use a bracket, and you see the orientation of the bracket is to the right because the number that are greater or equals negative 5 are this guy. Okay, this is the solution set graphically. And also I'm going to show you uh, something that we call interval notation. And interval notation, remember to the left here you have negative infinity, to the right you have infinity. So we start from the left looking and the first uh, solutions in the solution set is negative 5. And it's keep going forever infinity here you're gonna use that bracket okay because it's the equal greater or equal less or equal you're gonna use brackets and infinity we're gonna use parentheses greater or less and also infinity and negative infinity you're gonna use parentheses okay and this is the interval notation and this is one way to see the solution graphically on the number line but we can use a TI calculator to get something that is helpful to, and in fact, I want to check the solution. Uh, you see on the TI calculator, TI 83, the one I use it, on Y1, I graph the left side, on Y2, I put the right side. That is the, the, the picture you get. And uh, the first one here is, uh, this one is Y1, because it has an intercept of 7, this one will be y2. You notice the intersect right here to this point, which is negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this one. Okay, and, and I'm looking here when, when y1 is above y2. This is the piece, right? You notice is above here. So that will be 5 through infinity. Okay, this is a graphical approach in case you have a graphing calculator and you want to check it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.